What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about in-game events for Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale and just the overall deeper and expanded modern warfare story that connects multiplayer, campaign spec ops, and yes, Warzone together. Now, before Modern Warfare was released, the developers for the game stated that one of their goals was to make all of the modes in Modern Warfare connect together. So, even though you're playing a bunch of different game modes, the expanded story is essentially continued and carried over. And that's exactly what Infinity Ward and Raven Software are doing with the newly released Warzone Battle Royale. But before I get into any more details, guys, just want to point this out here. Um, I did kind of dislocate my shoulder yesterday, um, so I can't can't really play Warzone and get gameplay for you guys um, but if you guys would like to send me some gameplay to talk over please do so um, I'll make sure to give you guys a shout out and whatnot too so um, again if you guys want to be featured on this channel send some gameplay over and uh, I will use it in my videos but one of the ways Raven and Infinity Ward are connecting Warzone to the Modern Warfare story is by adding in-game events which is absolutely amazing because one of the reasons why Fortnite kind of blew up was due to their in-game events that were in real time meaning no matter where you are across the world wherever you're playing at you will be able to participate and watch the in-game event now they do mention one of the events in Fortnite which was the moon eclipse from season 10 and the warzone developers want to do something similar to that but it's going to fit within the uh, modern warfare universe and it's it's going to be the appropriate tone and genre for the game because Fortnite is kind of kid friendly in a way um, but Modern Warfare is more meant towards you know the older generation of gamers and in the interview Taylor Kurosaki didn't really go into any further details about what they have planned but I'm pretty sure that all the bunkers the phones the laptops and uh, everything else are possibly connected to something related to the in-game event um, if you guys don't know there's these little bunkers and phones laptops etc that are all interactable but nobody really knows what you can do with them so I got a feeling that maybe they could be related to something that is it for the in-game event and just overall expand the story of Warzone and I don't think the in-game event will simply just feature something that's just purely a visual effect but something that actually changes the map layout in a sense and opens up new locations for players and just really so so much more. Now another little teaser that I believe is an easter egg that relates to an in-game event is right in front of us every time we load up Warzone and it's the dam but if you look at the uh, layout a little bit closer then you may notice that the dam is overflowing with water so maybe there's a sign that this might be something similar to Blackout where Hydro Dam overflowed with water and caused a bunch of areas on the map to be flooded. I don't know but that may be something to really keep an eye on for the future of Warzone and I think as time goes on little by little more easter eggs are going to be revealed to us that lead up to this bigger in-game event so they're definitely going to be coming and it's going to be a very good thing for the game for sure but I really just hope the focus of them doesn't take away from the fact that the mode is severely plagued with lag hackers and other little issues alongside the multiplayer version of Modern Warfare which is kind of what happened with Blackout Battle Royale last year but Infinity War does have more help and hopefully we don't see a repeat of what happened last year with Black Ops 4 so if you guys want to read the full article I'm going to have a link down below in the description and also to the interview as well thanks for watching guys love y'all so so much again don't forget to send me some gameplay if you want to see it featured in uh, future videos thanks for watching till next time i'll see you guys later